So once we finish, actually the unwrap works uh, one side at a time. So you work on one side at a time. So we uh, we throw away this one for a while. Okay, we work on the front side first. I'm holding my alternate and do my selection so it will minus my group selection so I will just select this I will do the same thing again later okay, for the back part now I'm just concentr concentrating on the front part okay so once I have deselected the front area I hit, I hit the belt button okay belt. this uh, UV editor will pop up and we just press the start pair. Okay, press the start and then start and then stop. Okay, then we press commit. Right now, make sure our cursor change go to move because we, here we have also a um, move, rotate, and scale. And it's like a freeform mode. We select, use the move button, put your cursor in right in the middle of the polygon the UV click and drag it to the side okay so now it doesn't actually look like the same as this uh, polygon in this uh, viewport okay we need to match it up because if you look at it uh, if I turn on this uh, checker you see that the it's not an evenly square it's a it's stretch so you you might have a stretch texture when you put it on uh, to this UV map later on in Photoshop. So you select the whole polygon again, the U, the whole UV. Okay, I can just select the front part. Now go to Tools, go to Relax, and instead of a uh, Relax by Edge Angles, change it to Relax by Face Angle. Okay. And then just press start, relax, and we'll press stop again to finish. Then hit the X button to close it. So now when you study the polygon again, it is uh, perfectly square. So it, which means that there won't be a stretching in the texturing in the label when once you put it here. Okay. So this part done. Very easy. Very simple. We will do the same thing again. And close this for a while. You can always access that editor again by pressing the under the parameters the edit. You'll see this view again. Okay, so just press this one, press grow, grow selection. Alright, so then go to panel again, start, stop, commit, and put this aside. So this will be the back part and tools, relax change to face angle st start relax stop relax relax and hit the X button okay so just to confirm that this is looking the right way okay so we select this this highlighted which means this is a uh, top down is, uh, is correct and also should be this part yes okay for the rest of this we don't have to bother because it will be just a plain color like maybe white so we don't have to unwrap this extra polygon we just shrink this down never mind as small as you can because we want to give way to the main polygon that we want to give texture with okay so this should have the most space maybe I just uh, somehow we arrange this put this closer together all right and then we use the scale to scale it down um, be op optimized optimize the space the more you optimize the, the better you optimize the space the more pixel you get and the more detail your texture or your label will be okay this is very nice okay so now once we have placed it inside this uh, this box this dark blue box we are going to uh, export this up as a guideline in Photoshop. So go to Tools, 
um, render UV template alright um, this resolution is quite okay 1024 times 1024 is quite big for just uh, a sample bottle if you want more detail you can increase it to times 2 like 2048 times 2048 but for this tutorial I'm just going to use 1024 times 1024 and hit the render template UV template and then we have uh, this this window pop up hit the diskette icon to save that uh, because your UV okay so for this I just put it on the desktop uh, yeah, it's on the desktop put it as a uh, label label UV okay and save it as PNG okay so it will have trans transparency on the background so hit the save button press ok alright so that step is finished ok we can uh, exit this it's time to go to photoshop